What's up guys, today we are going to be drawing one of my favourite characters, Ron Weasley from Harry Potter. We're not just going to draw him like normal, we're going to have a go at drawing him, throwing up some slugs. <laughs> okay, so you're going to need a sharpie and some paper for this one. And we're just going to start off in the middle, drawing his mouth, so we're just doing like a little arch. And then joining them up with a little loop like a U at the bottom. And then to finish his mouth off, we're just going to add the tongue in and then colour in the top bit for his mouth. Okay, after that, we're just going to put a little line for his nose. And then a couple of lines for his eyes because he's going to have them shut because he because he's throwing up slugs. <laughs> and then some sort of crosser eyebrows that are pointing downwards. And then we're just going to add three freckles on his cheeks. Okay, this bit's a little bit trickier. So first of all, we're going to add in some other like slug slime sick. And then we're going to add in the edge of his face. So we'll just do the bottom and the sides. And then we'll add his hairline in afterwards. Okay, so when you're doing the hairline, you don't need to copy me exactly. I'm kind of making it up. So he's just got messy hair, a bit like Harry. And we're just going to make it a little bit spiky and follow the shape of his face right down to where his cheeks are and then we're just going to put the top in a little bit similar where we're just going to go over the top add in a few more like messy spiky bits as well So this is probably the bit, if you're going to go wrong, it'll be here. So if you want to do this bit in pencil first, might be a good, a good idea. Okay, so after we've done that, we've got to put the first slug in that's coming out of his mouth. So just underneath the splatty bit of sick that's coming out, we're going to add in our first slug. And I'm just going to make it, it's got a nice round, big head. And then like a wiggly body. And then I'm going to give it a sad face and a couple of antennae. Are they called antennae on a slug? Let me know in the comments if you know. <laughs> okay, so next up, let's put his scarf in. So I'm just going to put a little crease in his scarf and then follow it around. And then put the first fold in and then another one just underneath that poking out and then follow it round under the sick and tuck it back under his face And then we'll give it some stripes so we can add in the Gryffindor colours after. And then just pop in a few little bits of sicky slug slime. Okay, for his cloak, I'm just going to make it like tent out a little bit. And then just straight along the bottom so it's really nice and easy to draw. And 
and then when I come to colour it in, I probably won't colour it black because it gets a bit lost. I'm going to make his shoes black. Okay, for his arms, we're just going to do the same sort of thing, like making it thinner at one end and fatter at the other. It's just like a little rectangle. And then just a little hoop for his hand. A bit like you draw a mitten. That's how I like to draw these hands. And then he's got his his um, spells backfired because he's got a broken wand. So we're going to put his broken wand in. And then I think as well, we'll put some sort of crazy magic squiggles around to make it look like He's just done a spell and it's gone a bit wrong. Maybe put some um, sad face emojis in. Okay, so his other arm's just going to be hanging by his side, and again, I'm just going to put a little like mitten loop for his hand. And then all that's left to do is his little feet sticking out. And we don't want to make them too tricky, so we're just going to have make them like little booties, baby booties. Okay, so I don't want him to look like he's just floating around, so I'm just going to put a little bit of grass in. And then I can also add uh, another slug along the floor just to make it look like he's, he's had a few um, sick ups already. And there it is. Okay, I'm going to do the colour end, but I'm going to speed it up. So, don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit the bell for notifications. And let me know in the comments who you want to see next. Okay, uh, that's about it guys. Thanks for watching and peace out. Bye Hagrid. <laughs>